Well, hello, Oregon fans, and welcome to the Duck Center. This is the first episode of many that I will post throughout the remainder of the season. I am Jay, your host, but during this time of year, I am also known as the Duck Dude from Oregon. Well, let's just get right to it. Are you excited? Can you feel the energy of the Duck football nation in the air? I know I can. I have been in the Army for almost 18 years and have traveled many places. But no matter where I end up, I always feel a rush of excitement when August comes around. Some say that it's because the kids go back to school. And well, that's a pretty good reason. But there's just no comparing the exhilaration that a new season brings. Especially when you receive tweets from Duck players. I get that smile on my face and my wife and kids think I'm nuts. Can't contain myself, but okay, alright, let's calm down. Let's get to the game. Our Oregon Ducks will be up against the Coyotes of South Dakota on Saturday, and this doesn't seem to be the greatest of challenges when it comes to the levels of skill and talent. With a margin of victory predicted to be upwards of 51 points in favor of the Ducks, the real question is whether or not you allow Marcus Mariota to play the pass the first quarter. Our Heisman hopeful was injured last year, which kind of took the wind out of the BCS championship sales. Maybe he stays in just long enough to see some chemistry develop between the younger players and himself during a live game, especially between Allen and Royce Freeman. Speaking of which, is Royce Freeman capable of being the number one back? I think he has the talent and the size, but as usual, you can't teach experience, and especially at the next level. I did have the opportunity to meet Freeman after the Army All-American Bowl here in San Antonio, Texas. Here he is with my youngest daughter and my youngest son as he held the Oregon O. Royce, if you see this, you have the skill set to play and be a star. Watch Byron Marshall and Thomas Tyner as they gained one and two years experience under their belt. You will be the number one back before you know it. To end this episode of the Duck Center, I wanted the Duck Nation to know that if it wasn't for the injury that Marcus Mariota suffered during the Stanford game last year, he would have lifted the Heisman and not the infamous Winston. You can say, oh, you're a Duck fan, and that's why you would vote for him. Well, not so fast, my friends. The Heisman Trophy is for dominance and the overall person. Winston has nothing on Mariota. His off-the-field antics proves this. I met Mariota before the Alamo Bowl, and he is the most humble and gifted quarterback in college football. Yes, the team has to win in order for the player to win. But let me ask you, if FSU lost two games, would Winston have won the Heisman? Something to, t- something to think about. Well, Duck fans, my time is up. And tomorrow is our Oregon Ducks versus the South Dakota Coyotes. Still need to pick up the steaks and brew. Not a lot of fans in San Antonio, so my wife and kids will be with me tailgating in the backyard. Until next week, from the Duck Center, I am Jay, the Duck Dude. Oh, and by the way, if there are any questions that you would like answered, hit me up on Twitter at Weaver underscore J. Excuse me, Weaver underscore got underscore j j's with a s it's a jordan thing go ducks